Hi, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to migrate VMs to AHV with Extract. We'll start off by adding an ESX cluster and AHV cluster, and then we'll create a migration plan. In this plan, we'll select the container that we want the VMs to be migrated to, and then we'll select the VMs that we want to migrate. From this interface, I can search, I can sort, I can filter to find the VMs quickly. And once I'm done, I'll supply administrative credentials for both Windows and or Linux, and we'll use those credentials to automatically install the necessary device drivers. Finally, I'll save the plan and kick off the data migration. Now the data migration is broken into two phases. There's a seeding phase where we pre-copy the data for the running and powered off VMs over to AHV without downtime, followed by a very small cutover window. Looks like this particular VM is ready for cutover. So let's take a quick look at it. This is a Windows-based file server. Let's just look at it in VMware first. It's got about uh, 90 gigabytes worth of file data on there. It's also uh, um, already uh, pre-synchronized, but it's also we're also shipping any incremental del Delta I.O. change. So I'm going to make some live changes to the VM while it's running and demonstrate how those changes get reflected uh, once the VM is migrated. Finally, before we start, let me show you the AHV cluster. So this is just a stock AHV cluster. No special prep has been necessary. And you can see the VM, the new VM we're going to migrate does not exist yet. Okay, let's start the cutover flow. Now, when we do the cutover, we're shutting down the source VM and then making an identical copy and just doing it really fast. This means if you need to recover, you can just power up the original source VM in ESX at any point in time. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the new VM. As we can see here in Prism, it is uh, ready to go. It's been powered on. Let's launch into it and uh, take a quick look. All right, there you have it, folks. So the VM was migrated over within uh, a very short amount of time. The cover window was literally just a couple of minutes. And uh, as you can see, all the IO changes completely intact. Thank you for your time.